you can use tools options to set up where your files are stored as well as to show line numbers or not. So when Visual Studio is running, go into Tools, Options, and if you open up Projects and Solutions, then you can pick where the projects are stored as well as the templates and the item templates. So you can just click on these ellipses and go out to that, that location. Also, if you go into the text editor and select on basic or possibly all languages, then you can go down and click on the line numbers and turn that on. Now here's how to set up a project in Visual Studio. We go File, New Project. And for a Windows application, you would select Windows, Forms Application, and then put in the name, App, we'll call it Test. And I'm going to change the name of this solution to SM Test. And you can see where it's saved is in the location that I had set up in my Tools Options. Although, if you need to, you can change that, but you'd be smart to have it go the same place all the time. Now, if you have a flash drive set up, you can have this point to your flash drive, and then you can carry your projects back and forth between home and the labs at school. Also have Create Directory for the solution built up, and when you say OK, that will build the files for you. Now, I have the, form, the project set up. I can open my toolbox. If I click on my stick pin, I can keep that open, and you can see all the different pieces. Now, I can open, the, close these up, and you can see all the different categories. We're mainly going to be using Windows Forms, and I'll just take uh, a label and drag it out to my form. As soon as you drag the label out, go over to your properties. And my well, I'll leave my solution open, but my properties, I can go up. I like to put my properties in alphabetical order. That's how I'm used to working with them. And the first thing I do is label it. So I'll label test. And then I go down and fill up the text property. And there's my label. If I want to change my form, I just click on the form and go to the properties and change the property of it. I also like to change the name of it before I start coding too much using the FRM pre prefix. There's two icons here. There's floppy disk and there's a multiple floppy disk. The multiple floppy disk is save all. So that'll save all my parts of my project. Now let's take a look and see how the files are organized. I'll go into Explorer. Now it depends on where you set it up to put your documents, your, uh, your projects. But I have my documents, my uh, projects under documents. And then I have a folder called Visual Studio. And here's my project folders. And you'll see my solution test. This is the file that you want to zip up and submit. So I would right mouse click, send to and make a compressed zipped folder. And then this is what you would submit to D2L. Now let's go in and take a look at that solution. And inside of it, you can see the SLL, which is the solution. And then here are the supporting files. So there's a, there's a lot of files in here that need to be sent along so I, the instructor can run those on his computer, his or